What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we're talking about the upcoming releases for September and October of 2023. There's a lot to look forward to. Without further ado, let's get into these sneakers, you dig? To start off the month of September, we got the Air Jordan 1 High Palomino dropping September 2nd for a retail price of $180. As you can see, these come in black, metallic, gold, palomino, and sell as a color scheme, featuring a black leather base with brown suede overlays and metallic branding on the nylon tongues. You have the black inner lining with the cell midsole and brown rubber outsole to complete the shoe. Let me know if you guys are excited about this Jordan 1. We just had the release of the Jordan 3 Palominos that did not do so good, so I'm curious to see what the feedback will be for this Jordan 1. I do like the quality potential on this shoe. Let me know if you guys are grabbing it. Give me your feedback in the comment section below. Next up is a highly anticipated collab by Jordan and J Balvin. This is the J Balvin 3 Medellin Sunset released in September 2nd for a retail price of 250 bucks. These come with a cell colored leather upper with perforated tongues and gray elephant print overlays on the toes and heels. Highlighting the shoe is a multicolored gradient print along the midsole as as well as on the heel tabs. That's probably my favorite part of the shoe. One heel tab featuring the Nike Air branding, the other having J Balvin's face logo. These shoes will come in unisex, preschool, and toddler sizing. This is a very unique Jordan 3, especially in a collab, maybe one of the sneaker year candidates. Let me know what you guys think about these overall and rate it from a one to 10. Do you see yourself adding this Jordan 3 J Balvin to your collection? Next up, we got the Jordan 38 FIBA dropping September 7th for a retail price of 200 bucks. I have to say so far so good when it comes to the 38. I like the way the shoe looks. One thing that's cool about the Air Jordan 38 is that it's made up of 20% recycled material. These have an engineered embroidered feature on the upper, which I think is pretty unique for a Jordan basketball shoe. These Jordan 38s also have a lot of tech like the full length Cushlon 3.0 wedge, which combines with the full length Zoom Strobel. I like that. I wanna see what these look like in person. Give me your overall feedback on the Air Jordan 38. Next up on September 8th, for a retail price of 150 bucks. We got the corporate Jordan Air ship dropping. Let me know what you guys think about this collab and colorway. These come in a light menta, metallic silver, kinetic green, and cell color scheme. What do you think about that suede light menta upper on this shoe? It does have leather overlays, which I think adds an extra touch to the shoe. The quality on this airship does look like it's gonna be better than some of the ones we've had in the past. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway and do you see yourself adding it to your collection? This is definitely one of the more unique colorways of the airship that has released so far. So I'm curious to see what the feedback will be on this shoe. Next up, dropping September 8th for a retail price of 200 bucks. We got the Eastside Golf Air Jordan 1 High Golf Shoe. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Jordan Golf Shoes that have been dropping. A lot of colorways from highs to lows have been releasing. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. These come in a melechete, black and metallic gold color scheme with a hint of white, high quality materials on this shoe as most Eastside Golf and Jordan collabs have been so far. Let me know if you guys are liking this colorway and if this came out in a regular retro, would you be picking it up? Of course, it's a golf shoe, so you can't wear it for casual wear, but I think this one is pretty fire. Next up, we got the official release of the Air Jordan 4 Red Cement dropping September 9th for a retail price of 210 bucks. Now, these recently had a shock drop on sneakers, I believe it was, and a lot of people were excited to get their early pairs. This shoe is definitely fire. I have to give it a nine out of 10. In. Let me know if you guys will be picking up this colorway. As you can see, it comes in everybody's favorite white, fire red, black, neutral gray color scheme. This Jordan 4 will come with similar design to the white cement, but you'll have red replacing the gray areas, white leather upper with the red cement detailing on the wing flaps, midsole and heels. You have the black eyelids, inner lining and portion of the rubber outsole with neutral gray completing the shoe. This right here is definitely one of the shoes of the summer. Of course, give me your feedback. Is this Jordan 4 one of the best shoes of the summer or even of 2023? Will this make your top five or top 10? Give me your feedback, of course, in the comment section below. Next up, we got the Gray School exclusive Jordan 4 Cacao Wild dropping September 12th for a retail price of 150 bucks. These will come in Cacao Wild, Teal, L Brown, Twinny, Cell, and Green as a color scheme. A lot of wild colorways. These do have premium up upgraded suede, hemp, and leather materials, which I think is pretty dope, especially for a gray school shoe. I'm sure a lot of women will be trying to grab and put their feet into these, but give me your overall thoughts and opinions of this Jordan 4, and if it came out in a men's size, 
would you grab it next we have a woman's exclusive drop in september 13th for a retail price of 180 bucks the air jordan one high women's parlene is dropping let me know what you guys think i think this is very unique especially with the premium leather materials that they're using on the shoe then you have like the satin tongues which i think is a dope touch for the jordan one low don't know how crazy people will be for this shoe but let me know your thoughts about it especially women watching this video is this a colorway that is pretty good or could they have done something else with this shoe give me your overall thoughts and opinions on these do think these will look high quality especially with that sale midsole adds a little touch to it but i'm not sure what the response will be let me know what you guys think in the comments below next up we got another women's exclusive this time it's an air jordan 5 low this is the chutney colorway dropping september 21st for a retail price of 180 bucks no official images yet but it's set to have a chutney and black color scheme with chutney being the base color and it having black accents featuring a chutney nubuck upper which is something i'm looking forward to seeing let me know if you guys are looking forward to the jordan 5 low or is this an easy pass next up we got the air jordan 11 low i.e black and white dropping september 22nd for a retail price of 190 bucks i'm kind of looking forward to this shoe based on the color combination it does come in a black and white color skin which is pretty basic but these will have a tumbled leather base with patent leather overlays for that glossy look which i'm excited to see for the 11 low ie i think the 11 low ie doesn't get a lot of respect but it is definitely a nice shoe especially in certain colorways based on this mock-up image that you're seeing of this jordan 11 low ie let me know what you guys think about this shoe and are you guys a fan of the ie 11s overall give me your feedback in the comments below next up we got another air jordan 2 drop in this time september 23rd for a retail price of 175 bucks the black cement colorway is a jordan 2 that a lot of people have been looking forward to since we heard about it last year now it's right around the corner black cement gray and fire red along with the cell is the color scheme for this jordan 2 do come with a black leather base and then on the sides you have the reptile leather overlays to add that different touch to the shoe of course cement gray leather used on the tongues inner lining trimming and heel counter with the fire red accents on the tongue and heel branding i like this shoe i'm looking forward to see it in person and i might have to grab a pair let me know what you guys think about the jordan 2 black cements in the comment section below next up we got a women's exclusive colorway of the air jordan 38 this is the center star dropping september 25th for a retail price of 200 bucks these come in cone black brilliant orange and melon tint as a color scheme once again dropping september 25th but i do believe they drop for the all-star weekend or the WNBA all-star weekend this was a pretty dope color scheme you have the stars detailed all over the toe box let me know if you guys are a fan of this jordan 38 this is a woman's exclusive colorway but i am looking forward to seeing it in person give me your thoughts and opinions of these in the comments below next jordan release we're going to talk about is the air jordan 1 ko laney which dropped september 30th for a retail price of 150 bucks no official images but it's said to have the true blue base with the gold accents you'll have the cell on the midsole i do like the color combination one of the better ko's that have released lately let me know if you guys will be scooping this one up retailing for 150 bucks dropping september 30th then we end september off with a bang on september 30th for a retail price of 210 bucks we got the air jordan 8 playoffs such a classic shoe these come in black true red and white as a color scheme these will be true to the original release featuring the classic graphic overlays on the mud guards and outsole this shoe will also come with its original red pull tabs like the og pair instead of the black that they used on the previous retro and then it does come in full family sizing i'm excited for this jordan 8 i definitely feel like i will be adding this to my collection when it does drop let me know what you guys think about this jordan 8 rated from a 1 to 10 and will you be adding it to your collection starting off october on the 7th for a retail price of 200 bucks is an air jordan 6 that's a nod to a 2010 sample we have the air jordan 6 aqua which is also taking inspiration from the air jordan 8 aqua which is one of my favorite air jordan 8 retros let me know what you guys think about this aqua colorway my favorite part of the shoe by far is the new buck upper matched with that translucent outsole let me know what you guys think about this shoe these do feature a black bright concord and aqua tone color scheme with black being the base 
with that new buck material and bright concord and aquatone accents throughout the shoe i love this color combination let me know if you guys will be picking this up in the comment section below i'm definitely curious to see what the response is on that one next up on october 13th for a retail price of 140 is the air jordan one low og university red as you can see these come with a white and university red color scheme with it having a white leather base with red accents throughout the shoe on the swooshes the sock liner the heel tab as well as the outsole let me know if you guys are a fan of this og of course it's going to have some great materials there is also a red feature on the nike air tongue branding which i think is a dope touch let me know if you guys are excited about this air jordan one low og a lot of people have been picking them up will you guys be adding them to your collection next up also dropping october 13th for a retail price of 170 bucks is the travis scott air jordan one low golf olive now put your hands high how many people out there will be trying to grab this shoe even though they do not play golf that's the question these come in a neutral olive black sail and light lemon twist color scheme with some actual premium materials and some dope detailing on the insoles these will feature a blend of premium materials such as nubuck leather and mesh these feature a neutral olive base tongues and inner lining of the shoe then you also have the white on the overlays laces and heels around the midsole as well i'm liking the way that this one looks even though it's a golf shoe one out of ten i have to give it a solid eight i don't play golf so i'm not going after them but what about you next up we got a unique colorway of the air jordan one high og this is the mauve colorway dropping october 14th for a retail price of 180 bucks these come in a white and sky j mauve colorway and sky j mauve is a new color scheme to me looks like a mix between purple lavender let me know what you guys think about these of course they do feature the white base with the mauve overlays on the swooshes laces tongue labels inner lining and rubber outsole i do think this might look a little bit better in person than these images i hope they come with good quality but based on the images that you're seeing in front of you let me know what you guys think about this jordan one and do you see yourself grabbing it and adding it to your collection next up dropping october 14th for a retail price of 200 bucks is the air jordan one element gore-tex in the sky j purple i do like this color scheme are you guys a fan of the gore-tex let me know in the comments below of course sky j purple shimmer honeycomb sail and black is the color scheme i do like that color scheme for this gore-tex shoe it does come equipped with the waterproof gore-tex lines in the upper constructed in a mix of textile nubuck overlays you have the 3m reflective detailing i like the gore-tex so far little pricey 200 but i do think they're worth it because they're kind of built for all different weathers which i, I do like even though our weather doesn't get too severe out here in los angeles this is definitely a good colorway kind of gives me laker vibes if you will one to ten scale i would give this one a solid eight i am a fan of the gore-tex what do you guys think next up on october 18th for a retail price of 180 bucks we got the women's exclusive air jordan one high og satin bread which a lot of people have been looking forward to for a little while now last seen seven years ago in 2016 the air jordan one satin bread released exclusively at pop-up shop in new york city and was limited to only about 500 pairs that were individually numbered the 2023 pair is expected to look very similar to that release so if you missed out before here's your second chance to grab a pair these come in that iconic bread colorway of black white and red and this jordan one satin features a full satin build not into the classic air jordan flight suit warm-up outfit worn by michael jordan in 1985 i hear there will be some minor details to this version as opposed to the original and one might be the wings logo as well as a black rubber outsole instead of a red one these do come in women's preschool and toddler sizing and it has to be noted that these do not come in extended sizes which is very very unfortunate next up on october 20th for a retail price of 120 bucks is the jordan tatum one wave runner this right here is one of his more popular colorways and one that i like a lot if i had to rate this from a one to ten it's a solid eight and a half nine i love the color combination lagoon pulse pink blast psychic purple white lemon glow and black is the color scheme so there's a lot going on here as you may know the jordan tatum one showcases the engineer mesh base compelled with the lightweight tpu frame these are very light shoes 120 is a great price point for them and i like this colorway let me know what you guys think about the jordan tatum one in the comments below next up on october 24th for a retail price of 160 bucks we got the chris paul air jordan one low og give them their flowers as you can see they've 
feature light cream and sell as the color scheme. Very much so a unique Jordan 1, probably one of Chris Paul's best Jordans out there in my opinion. I like the details all around the shoe. These shoes were made for Chris Paul because he has a love for the Air Jordan 1 Low. These do have that floral pattern all over the upper, which I do like. And then you have the shaggy suede, which is used on the toe box, the tongue, as well as the Nike swooshes. It does come with special packaging and multiple laces, so you can lace swap if you're into that. Overall, let me know what you guys think about Chris Paul's legacy with the Jordan brand, his signature athlete shoes, as well as this one here, rated from a one to 10 in the comments below. Sticking with the Jordan Low on October 25th for a retail price of 170, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Neutral Gray. Now this is a Jordan 1 Low people have been talking about for a while too. The fact that it's the 85 Low is something we haven't seen in a while. These come in Summit White, Light Smoke Gray, Neutral Gray, and sell as a color scheme. This Air Jordan 1 Low pays homage to Peter Moore's original original 1985 blueprint. You have the white upper, neutral gray suede swooshes and heels. I like the details of this shoe. Looks like it's gonna have some great quality leather. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this Air Jordan 1 Low OG. This next sneaker is arguably a sneaker of the year candidate for myself. Let me know if you guys agree. Dropping October 28th for a retail price of $210. We have the Air Jordan 12 Cherry. Been a very long time since we've seen this shoe and I'm glad that it's back in 2023. Worn by Michael Jordan during his fifth NBA championship season. The cherry edition of the Air Jordan 12 comes in the white, black, and varsity red color scheme. It features the white leather upper with the red textured mud guards, which blends onto the rubber outsole. I'm a big fan of this shoe. Let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 12 Cherry. Is this a sneaker of the year candidate for you or a top five release in 2023? Give me your feedback on this Jordan 12 in the comments below. Next, I want to talk about this Jordan 1 Gore-Tex in the Sky J Light Olive that's coming out for a retail price of 200 bucks. This colorway is truly one of the best Gore-Tex in my opinion. This color combination is definitely different. Black Sky J Light Olive, bright Mandarin, Cell and Noise Aqua as the color scheme, which is crazy. And like all Jordan 1 Gore-Tex, these do come equipped with waterproof Gore-Tex lines in the upper constructed in a mix of textile and Nubuck overlays. These do also have the 3M reflective detailing. Let me know what you guys think about this Gore-Tex. Where does it line up among all the other colorways that have dropped? To me, I think it's one of the best ones, but give me your thoughts and opinions, of course, in the comments below. Next, I want to talk about something to look forward to the next month, which on November 10th for 210, we got the Air Jordan 5 Midnight Navy. Now, this one is definitely one of the best colorways of the Jordan 5s to release in a while. I like the colorway. I like the materials that's used on this. Midnight Navy black and football gray is the color scheme. You have that translucent outsole, which is definitely fire. The Jordan 5 Midnight Navy has a white midsole with speckled shark teeth overlays and it does have that translucent outsole as I mentioned before which is one of the best parts of the shoe in my opinion one of ten scales this is a solid eight and a half nine looking forward to this dropping in November what do you guys think about this one as well as everything coming out here in October it's definitely some heat on the way for the month of October, the choice is yours. Do you see yourself making a choice to pick up any Air Jordan Retro that we talked about in this video? If so, let me know which ones in the comment section below. Hit that like button, of course. As you can see, there's definitely a lot to look forward to. Maybe give me your top three that's coming out in October and September. Let me know that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share the video. I'm out of here. Deuces.